Hello, this is Gio, and what you're looking at here is an old friend of mine. It's our crock pot. Now this crock pot has seen many years of service and it has served us well. You can kind of see it's starting to show its age, but it still works quite well. The only main problem is the lid. And as you can see, where is the handle? It also, I think, lost some clamps along the way, but that's kind of a minor issue. The main thing is the handle. When this thing gets he heated up and it's cooking, and you want to check or stir whatever's inside, you come to grab it and you burn your fingers because, if I could lift this up, you can see there's no handle. So I finally got tired of it and decided to look around for a new handle. And yes indeed, you can find them on the internet. And this is the one that I got. This one actually came with two handles here. It's uh, replacement pot knobs. And it was, uh, it was advertised for crock pots as well. Uh, I think it should work. The screw is a little bit uh, smaller, but I think it should work fine. Now this is not the only design of a handle you can purchase. I, I kind of looked on Amazon and there was a number of different styles. Uh, some of them were quite ornate and fancy and kind of sticking up. And But I, I kind of wanted one a little lower so I can kind of wash the lid more easily in a dishwasher. And also if it's a bigger handle it could kind of break the glass. So that's why I picked this one. But you could pick all different styles. Okay, so I took off the lid and just put it on a towel to help protect a little little bit. And you can kind of see closer up that uh, the handle that was on here, it was, it was just a plastic handle. And once it broke off, it sort of exposed this little nut here. And on the other side, there's just a little Phillips um, screw head here. So it should be pretty easy to remove. I'll just take a Phillips screwdriver, stick it here, and kind of use a little wrench to take off this nut and hopefully uh, this little piece will be removed. Now before I do that, I do kind of want to protect the glass a little bit, especially with pliers. I think this the uh, screwdriver will be fine, but I'm just going to take some painter's tape and just kind of protect around the glass a little bit um, so it won't scratch the glass if, if my hand slips. So carefully, I'm just going to hold this up. I have my Phillips screwdriver here and just kind of stick it in this end. Just like that. And take my pliers here on the other side. Just kind of grab it on that side. And hopefully, and it does, it comes out pretty easily. Now I could just kind of loosen it up with my hand. And hopefully everything will fall out. Just like that, take off the tape. Okay, with the tape removed, I'm just taking this little Phillips screw. Uh, it does have this little kind of plastic washer on it. I'm gonna take that off just in case I need it. And now it's time to open up the package and see what we have. I only need one of these lids. Okay, so uh, taking out the handle, it comes in three parts. Now there's a little handle part, this little lower plate part that you can kind of use like that. And then a screw. The screw itself is actually a little smaller, as you can see. It's about the same height, but uh, it's actually thinner than the original. Um, initially I thought I might use this little plastic washer, but I don't think I'll need it, but we'll see. Um, now I've already kind of played around with this. Uh, and you could kind of stick this in like this and put this base plate on just like that and then try to get this handle on but the screw doesn't go up high enough so if you try to screw it on it really doesn't work because it's not high enough now you can go ahead to the hardware store bringing the screw and just kind of match the width and but just get a longer screw and then use it that way. Or you could just decide, well, do I really even need this base plate? I don't think I do. Actually, I would prefer, it's kind of a big uh, plate and it's sort of in the way. I don't even think I need it. So I kind of played around with it. I could just use this little screw 
and just stick it in just like this. And this actually shows more, it, I kind of like this look a lot better, although you have more of a hazard touching the glass, but all I really need is to grab it like that. Now, my question is, do I want the screw itself in contact with the glass? And although it didn't come with a little washer, this little washer was always underneath there, and so I think it should be fine if I just kind of reuse what was originally there, kind of stick it in back, just like that, and then just screw it on like that. That way there's a little more protection for the glass. So I'm just going to do that. And you could just hand tighten it. You don't even actually need your, your uh, screwdriver. So we're going to just hand tighten it like that. Not too tight, you don't want to break the glass. And then there you have it. It works just fine. And you can see the bottom is very similar to the original. It has that original washer and a smaller screw, but it's fine. It will do the trick. Okay, so I have a new handle to my crock pot lid, and I think it'll work out really well. Now, I might eventually kind of figure out about this clamp that I lost it a while ago, but for now, it will work. I can work with this, and I have a new, a new little handle. Uh, just, just as kind of a reminder, you don't actually have to always use what comes with little replacement parts. You know, in this case, I don't need this little plate. And I kind of used some of the original components as well. So be creative. And uh, a lot of times fixes are what you need rather than what is just what you can buy. So uh, I hope this video helped you out. And I hope you enjoy your crock pot. And enjoy. Bye-bye.